Hello there guys and welcome, it is Niran here and today it is time for me to welcome you to episode number 2 of FIFA 16 Players to Watch Out For. This is of course the series where I talk to you about players who should be good on FIFA 16 based on their 50, uh, FIFA 15 stats as well as potential and on their performances in real life i.e. goals, assists, even just appearances or clean sheets and the such like. So today I'll be showing you 10 fairly young players again like I did last time. There are some absolute gems in this one, some players who will no doubt be absolutely incredible to sign but also some players who are a little bit under the radar you may not have even heard of but have good goal scoring record uh record sorry uh in real life in their respective leagues so first up we've got this guy inaki williams who plays for atletico bilbao now he's a right winger and look at that sprint speed and acceleration 94 sprint speed and 89 acceleration leading to him having the speedster speciality in real life he played 43 games for Atletico Bilbao this season, scoring 16 goals and getting 4 assists as a winger. Very, very good indeed. 20 years of age, can play on both wings and as a striker with high attacking and defensive work rate and 4-star skill moves. This guy could be an absolute god, not only on career mode, but also on ultimate team as well, with good agility, balance and dribbling as well. Next up, we've got Dimitri Payet of Marseille, someone you've probably heard of, you've got Team of the Season in the League 1 section, but unfortunately he isn't playing for, um, for Marseille anymore, he's already signed for West Ham, so he's not a player you'll be able to sign in the first transfer window of your career mode, but look at some of his stats, 81 ball control, dark green dribbling, as well as crossing, long passing, long shots, curve, and short passing, seems like a very fun player to use, high attacking and medium defensive work rates, 4 star weak foot and 4 star skill moves, 27 years of, old, uh, years of age even from France, and can play as an attacking mid and a left mid. Now next up we've got another one of your suggestions like Paye was and this guy was all over the comment section last time. It's Kurt Zuma. So many of you guys suggested him uh, from Chelsea. Pretty decent pace for a defender as well. 71 acceleration and 79 sprint speed but the main thing being 85 strength and also 84 jumping. A very solid uh, centre back in, in real life and on this game as well. He's always had good potential. He's 75 stat, 19 years of age, can play as a centre back or right back from France, playing for Chelsea with medium attacking and defensive work rate, three star weak foot and two star skill moves. But next up, we have got the gem himself. It's Hashim Mastor of AC Milan. This guy is just going to be insane on FIFA 16. Him and Erdegaard are just going to be absolutely astonishing. Really good acceleration as well as agility, balance, ball control and dribbling. And look at that, that five-star skill moves, three-star weak foot can play as an attacking mid, centre forward, uh, or a right winger uh, from Morocco, 16 years of age and 66 stat, probably got about 86 or 87 potential on this game, let alone what he'll have on FIFA 16, so he's really someone to look out for, he should probably be one of your first signings if you can get him. Next up though we've got Derlis Gonzalez, perhaps I get another player you may not have actually heard of before. Uh, this is the FC Basel right mid from Paraguay, I do believe he's from. Uh, got really good acceleration as well as sprint speed, balance, agility and dribbling. So that type of winger, uh, really pacey and good dribbling. Three star weak foot and three star skill moves. High attacking work rate, 20 years of age and 73 stat, which should mean he has about 83, 84 potential. In real life uh, for FC Basel, he played 35 games, getting six goals and 10 assists. So a pretty good season for the Swiss Giants and he's definitely someone you need to look out for. Now this is one of the under, under the radar ones. This is Andre Du. Now, this guy is 69 stat, uh, is an attacking mid. Uh, as you look at his stats, look at his good stats. This is quite an interesting one for a young player. 77 ball control, 76 dribbling, 75 short passing and 74 vision, which means he's going to be that type of agile, but also good at pinging the ball around playmaker style centre midfielder when he's reached his potential. He's 19 years of age from Slovakia, playing for Legia Warsaw in the Polish league. He's got four star weak foot and four star skill moves. And he's got some pretty decent stats, I do believe, as well in real life, getting uh, four 44 appearances for Ligia Warsaw, 8 goals and 9 assists, so he could be someone to watch out for on the next game as a sort of cheap alternative. Next up though, we've got the guy who everyone knows about, this is Maximilian Meyer, or Max for short, from FC Schalke, 76 stat, attacking midfield, amazing acceleration, agility, balance, uh, ball control, dribbling, short passing, long passing, curve, he's got a lot, he can play as an attacking mid or a centre mid, 4 star weak foot, 3 star skill, moves, high attacking work rate, 18 years of age from Germany, playing for Schalke of course in the Bundesliga, with the acrobat speciality, he is just going to be a god on the next game, that is just decided, his fate has been decided already. Next up we've got another centre to back and this is Kevin Vimmer of FC Cologne. Now he doesn't play for FC Cologne anymore. Tottenham Hotspur have actually signed this guy. Uh, so he's another player like Dimitri Payet who you won't be able to sign in the first transfer window but you should be able to sign him 
in January of the first season. He's 21 years of age from Austria, centre, can play as a centre back or a left back, medium defensive and attacking work rate. 75 stat as well for a 21 year old is pretty good. He's got good stats like heading accuracy, marking, sliding tackle, stand tackling, a decent speed as well as jumping and strength. So he's a pretty solid centre back and probably quite a fun one to use on career mode because of that pace. He can probably deal with pacey strikers very well with the strength and speed that he has. Next up though, we've got Saido Berahino, the man who scored 20 goals in real life for West Bromwich Albion in the Barclays Premier League. He's 73 stat on this game, but he should probably get a decent upgrade. He's got 80 finishing already, so realistically, he is a very, very good striker already, even though he's only 73 stat. He's 20 years of age, medium attacking and defensive work rate with four-star weak foot and three-star skill moves, 82 acceleration as well as good sprint speed, agility, balance, penalties, finishing, as I said, ball control, dribbling, and shot power. He is definitely someone who you might be able to pick up for relatively cheap, depending on what his stat is on the next game. I would hazard a guess it should be about 75 but we'll have to see. But then the final player, the 10th and final player on this list is Valentino Lazaro, the 67 stat right mid from Red Bull Salzburg in the Austrian League. 83 acceleration as well as good sprint speed, agility, balance, and uh, then aggression, interestingly enough. Ball control, dribbling, curve, and shot power. 18 years of age, can play as a right mid, left mid, or right back, interestingly, from Austria with three star weak foot, four star skill moves, medium attacking and defensive work rate. Should be a very fun player to use with that speed, that dribbling ability, and also the four star skill moves as well. But that is pretty much it. That's the 10 players uh, in today's episode, as is always the case. Uh, feel free to drop your suggestions for who should be in episode 3 in the comment section below. There were three players in that one uh, who you guys suggested, and there were many more that I'll put in future episodes as well from episode 1, like Vima, uh, Paye, and Kurt Zuma, who were suggested to me in the uh, episode 1 comment section. So drop your suggestions in the comment section below, and I'll be sure to put some of them into episode 2, if not, uh, sorry, episode 3, if not in future episodes before FIFA 16 comes out. But I hope you've enjoyed. Feel free to leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you are new around here as well for more FIFA. 15 and of course f1 2015 content as well comment about enjoying the video if you enjoyed it that much as well as your suggestions for episode 3 but it has been a pleasure ranting at you guys today have a good day enjoy yourselves and goodbye